Apparently Nintendo and Square Enix didn't lay enough paths for Octopath Traveler as the new JRPG is seeing shortages amidst super strong sales. And we are pretty excited about that, so we're going to discuss what it means and also give you some updated impressions on the full release. Big thanks to Nintendo for providing a review code. We also went out and bought another copy of the game so that both Gabe and I could play, but some people aren't able to go buy a copy apparently as Nintendo and Square, they're saying massively underestimated Octopath Traveler sales. Yeah, this actually makes me happy, even though, you know, it is a huge bummer that people can't get it physically if that's their desired way of playing in other territories. But, hey, the game's selling well. I think the game deserves it. It The quality speaks for itself, right? It has, like, an 84 on Metacritic at this time. Mm -hmm. Reviews have been super positive. I've been very hyped uh, for it since I first saw the trailer for when it was Project Octopath Traveler back in the day. <laughs> so it, it's good to see that come full circle and seeing people excited for a game that is still technically smaller but it's still like a huge game but it's more traditional and it, these are the types of games i grew up with so i'm all about it absolutely so to dive in a little bit uh, of the specifics here amazon is currently sold out in the states um, but it does seem to be a problem that is plaguing other regions over in japan the octopath pr team issued an apology saying they're sorry and that there's the shortage and that they recommend you buy it digitally for the time being and again like this is remedied by you just buying it digitally, which actually works out okay here with Octopath given the small file size and the fact that this is an 80 plus hour game. So you're probably going to be playing it a lot and having it on your system might actually be to your extreme benefit. But it is, like Gabe said, kind of cool to see that it is sold out in, in some places and like Amazon, you can't get it. I, I will note that in my area, uh, GameStop, Walmart, and Best Buy all have Octopath Traveler available for in-store pickup. So it's not everywhere, um, and sometimes, you know, we do hear is issues with Switch cartridges and, and, like, production of those causing bottlenecks, so maybe that's something that behind the scenes is also impacting uh, the shortage of Japan. But nonetheless, the fact that it was building buzz, the demo was really well received, and that they still, you know, underestimated, I think that's good news. Yeah, and keep in mind, this is a full $60 release. That's absolutely crazy. Uh, in the UK charts, that's where we have a little bit more clarity, right? Um, it's number three. There are two games above it. Crash is number one. Lego The Incredibles is number two. But those do have the advantage on being on other platforms, every single platform. So right. I, I feel like if we went through you know specific uh, skews of each one of these games, Octopath might even be number one. Oh, they do say over in the UK um, that dollar for dollar single platform titles it is the it is number one and they note that it sold uh, nearly double of what bravely default sold back on the 3ds in its first week and more than double what bravely second sold and that was square enix's uh, big 3ds rpg that is made by the same team that's you know doing octopath so that's really great to see just for their own success and their own advancement that hey this one based on a higher price tag is performing so well yeah, and, you know, I, I always thought that, that this game was going to do good. I've been saying it for, you know, a couple of weeks now, how there was definitely hype for this. People were building it up in their head. I understand that this is also probably because there's just not a lot of other releases right now. People want, like, really want to play new stuff, and it's just, you know, a good thing that it's an actual quality game so people can uh, continue to invest in it. So, yeah, very happy with that. Absolutely. Now, we've both been playing the full version, obviously, uh, greatly exceeding the, the demo hour count. So Gabe, sort of how are you feeling about the game now that you have expanded beyond the chapter ones, beyond the initial Octopath paths? First of all, I just want to touch on the structure of it a little bit, or maybe the lack of structure, right? You, you can go about this however you want. If you want to, you know, pick a certain character and beat the entire game with just that character, it'll be very difficult because you have to uh, grind an awful lot in order to start the subsequent uh, chapters, but it is something you can do. What I'm doing is I go get every single character and then start going to chapter twos because I'll probably be high level enough for my original character, which is the Huntress. Uh, how do you pronounce her name, Zach? Ha Hate? I think it's Hanit. Hanit, okay. I always have trouble with that pronunciation, excuse me. But yeah, so... Since she was the first character I picked, she was like almost high level enough once I got the 8th character just to start the chapter 2 right away. So that's what I've been doing. I've been having a really, really good time with it. It has exceeded my expectations. I was worried a little bit at first, just like, hey, how is this going to work? I'm going to forget like what's happening uh, with each one of these characters by the time I get to the chapter 2s. But I think the simplicity and the storytelling 
is kind of key here because all of their stories are so simple that they're incredibly easy to remember. I'm, I'm loving it so far. Mm. Yeah, I would say that I am still loving the combat. I'm still loving the art. Um, and I'm still loving the overall vibe of the game. I, I will say that I am not as in love with the structure as you. Maybe just my gaming history kind of pops up and I'm like, okay, this doesn't feel normal. Like, where is sort of the rising action? They're all coming together. Where is the building arc? And I, I haven't seen that yet. And we've even seen like a lot of reviewers say like either they didn't run into it or like the end game was unclear. Now that has become uh, much more apparent and there, there apparently is content there that does sort of bring things more together, uh, at least, you know, towards the very end. But yeah, it's a little bit odd just that you're grabbing this guy and grabbing that guy and then kind of, like you said, eventually getting to the next part in their story and for me that open-endedness i'm not as in love with it but i do still think the the gameplay mechanics that the game excels at obviously those are still there and that's what's keeping me playing yeah i i guess it's just perspective right because to me it's one of the cooler parts about the game i understand that it might not be for everyone but i'd rather have something new right they're trying something different Instead of just going like, hey, completely traditional. Because this is already a traditional JRPG. So if you, you know, touch a lot of the, the, the same mainstays in the genre, then it just kind of becomes a game like a lot of other games. And this kind of helps it stand apart. So that's the way I look at it. Yeah, which is definitely a good perspective. So you can definitely grab it digitally if that's something you want to do. We'll see how these shortages uh, shake out over time. But right now, I think Nintendo and Square have to be happy. And it's a, it's a good sign you know a 60 dollars jrpg doing this well in 2018 like i don't know i think that's pretty applause worthy so let us know your take on the octopath situation and if you've been playing the game love to hear your impressions in the comments down below as well make sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all the latest and greatest from the switch and superb titles like this one we've got you covered and follow us on twitter and discord links in the description below until next time everybody thanks again for watching a fantastic day switch force out